Hello and welcome to another video from the Inspiration College, the channel where we tell you the truth guys and the channel where we provide content that will inspire you. Now guys as you can see on the screen in big red and white, a true milestone, a thousand subscribers and if you are a part of this guys I really say a big thank you to you because it was not easy to get to a thousand subscribers even if you are not a part of uh, that number and you have been watching the content and know that it has helped you and that's the reason why you are even watching this video now so guys this is what we are going to talk about and the fact that you know that uh, you have this group out there who would be giving my channel copyright strike and video takedown and all of that which I'm going to talk about in this video you know I'm still able to get to a thousand subscribers so this is really something you know to rejoice about this is a milestone I'm happy about this and this is also something to laugh about so the reason why i think i deserve a big laugh is to know that uh, you would have others out there who want to take the channel down because they want to you know get rid of the information that i'm providing so i think it's good to have a big laugh so let us have a big laugh and then get to the video <laughs> get a few more. Get a few more. Now guys, I think that was a good laugh from my friend there. You know, sometimes I have to really laugh because, you know, uh, when you're doing something good and then you see you're getting the fight and you manage to achieve what you set out to achieve, it's really good that you can have a good laugh. And as you can see here, YouTube sent me this message here to, you know, somehow congratulate me. And they said, Inspiration College, congrats on a thousand subscribers. And he says, we always knew that this day would come and we hope that you did too, of course. Uh, I knew that the day would come. I knew that I would get to a thousand subscribers before they, you know, they try and do whatever they're doing to take the channel down. And it says, you are doing amazing work and we couldn't be happier for you. Now guys, I, I don't really want to even hear that from anybody else apart from youtube and of course guys you know what i'm talking uh, i know you supported this channel and all of that but uh to actually hear youtube telling me that i'm doing an amazing work uh even if they should take the channel down now then this phrase you know will resonate with me that you know i'm doing an amazing work and a lot of people you can look at the comments and under the videos you can know that people are being helped by it people telling me thanks for you know bringing out this information um, I've saved them so much and heartache I've saved them this I've saved them that and to know that during my time there was no information so I had to just go with my gut feeling which was wrong but now guys you have the information and you can decide whether or not you know you to go forward you know exactly what it's all about and remember this channel is not just about them but our, I won't even say about them because I don't really talk about them I talk about the system uh, but this channel is also uh, I do videos how to videos I do videos on uh, eBay uh, different stuff it's a general channel so I'm glad that I've managed to reach this milestone from 2016 I started the channel now it's 2023 so that's seven years some people it might take them a day or just a couple of hours to get to us uh, thousand subscribers but you know I have to be grateful because a lot of people are way below struggling so thanks again guys if you are a part of this and let us just move straight into the video now guys why am I celebrating this milestone of a thousand subscribers on the Inspiration College YouTube channel if you look at the screen here you can see your video has been taken down from YouTube how to identify a pyramid scheme so that was the title of the video and you can see here guys this was sent by YouTube and it says hide inspiration college due to a copyright take down notice that we received we had to take down your video from YouTube so you can see the video title how to identify a pyramid scheme 
and the URL of the video and then you can also see the person who uh, requests that take down I'm not even going to this guy's name here Max Cocker or something like that and it says this means that your video can no longer be played on YouTube guys of course when YouTube remove your video it's just being removed from the public but the video is still there for the uploader uh, like myself I can still uh, view the video uh, so it says here you receive a copyright strike and it says you now have one copyright strike if you get multiple copyright strikes we'll have to disable your account to prevent that from happening please don't upload videos containing copyrighted content that you aren't allowed to use and then if I scroll down you can see um, you can click here to view the details and then you can see what to do next and it says if you believe that you are not at fault in one or more of the instances above you can appeal this takedown by submitting a counter notification keep in mind that there may be uh, there may be severe legal consequences for submitting a counter claim with false information and then it says you can this is another option you can also contact the party that removed your video and ask them to retract their takedown and this is coming from YouTube now guys uh, I've received uh, uh, quite a few of these emails and these are the kind of emails you don't really want to uh, receive from YouTube especially when you know that um, these takedowns can be malicious and the takedowns that I've had in the past they were all malicious takedown and there's no doubt in my mind that this is one of them but what this is doing now um, I know the particular group which is doing this and guys you do know who I'm talking about this dream team group so I know they are behind this takedown maybe this guy is just one of their PR members and you know uh, one of the CEOs of the dream team you know he he made a complaint um, well not really complaint but um, he did a, a copyright takedown also of one of my videos which I did a video where I told you that YouTube just trash it because it was a uh, malicious takedown and if you look at even this one this video is 2 minutes and 11 seconds long and uh, it's all about how to identify a pyramid scheme now guys you can even by just looking at the title you can tell what the content of that video would have been and the fact that you know their group was passed off as a pyramid scheme in Butan then you can see why they would want to target this video but it's not so much the video uh, that they want to be taken down they want the entire channel down and the fact that I'm celebrating a thousand subscribers as a milestone now you see uh, that's success for me because I started this channel out in 2016 and when I started I started the channel with um, I was doing a different niche I was into the mobile app niche and then after the part um, I didn't continue with that business so I was searching online and that's when I came across their business opportunity and after I exit the group which I don't need to go I did a video where I explained to you how I exit the group so when I exit the group uh, I did a first video on them and they threatened me with lawsuits and and cease and desist letters and all of that and so I went quiet for a while but then I was in the background you know preparing my website my blog the passive move blog and also I did a revamp on my YouTube channel this very channel you're watching now and that's when I decided that you know I'm going to you know take up the mantle and I'm going to start doing videos on these questionable business opportunities and of course other stuff so you notice that this channel is a general channel I do videos on eBay and all of that uh, so all of that you know would take me to a thousand subscribers which to me that's an achievement that's success for me you see a lot of people use money to measure success but then success has a lot of moving parts it's not only the money that you have in your account from an online business uh, you have a lot of money you have millions of dollars so you're rejoicing oh I'm, a, I'm successful I'm a successful business owner <laughs> how did you get all of that money and who do you leave hurting behind uh, to, to achieve your success just like here I'm celebrating the success of a thousand subscribers uh, I know I work hard for it uh, and you know I, earlier I showed you the 
you know, that email that YouTube sent me and to say that um, I've done amazing work. I mean, who else would I want to hear that from? Uh, so that gives you joy to know that you're actually helping somebody out there. And I know that my videos help a lot of people. It saved them a lot of money, save them heartache, prevent them from getting into debt. And of course, wouldn't want to get rid of information like that, especially if it is making recruitment difficult for them. So you see they're trying to take the channel down. So obviously what I did here, as you can see, YouTube is saying you can also contact the party that remove your video. But honestly, guys, if somebody is malicious with what they are doing, because how this works if you find your copyrighted material in you know a youtube channel's video the first thing you'd want to do if you're not going to do it maliciously you would reach out to the person because youtube would give you the opportunity to reach out to the uploader of that video and you would ask them or you would give them seven days to remove the copyrighted material no if it's not malicious you would want to take that route but if it's malicious, then you would not want to reach out to the person. Because this guy, what's his name here up here, did not reach out to me. This guy here. He went straight to YouTube and then he went straight to a, um, a channel strike. Why would you do that if it's not malicious? So I, what I did, um, just for him to know that I know that he's acting with the help of somebody else. You know, actually just send him an email, reach out to him and say, okay, um, this is the material that I've used. And if it's your material, then why didn't you reach out to me before going to YouTube? And why did you even take it that far to give my channel a strike unless you are doing it maliciously? Then obviously he didn't respond to it because I know he was not going to respond. Then I went up to option one, which is what I would have done anyway. Uh, because I know that he has to respond to YouTube because when you do account a no notification of a takedown Then YouTube would send that information to the claimant Which would be this guy here So he would get the notification and then YouTube would now give him 10 days uh, to respond so He would now have to get go the legal route um, to get uh, some kind of court action to prevent me from uploading the video and again guys if you know that you don't have evidence to present uh, to to the court to prevent me from uploading the video then obviously that 10 days you're not going to submit anything to YouTube now that's that was what happened with these guys who claim copyright on my video in the past uh, they didn't have anything to present because they were doing it maliciously they also try to take my video down by making privacy filing privacy complaint and all of that my videos still uh, survive that uh, so you can see the type of people you are dealing with running this group they would go at any lengths to try and you know get information withheld from you and the, the big question is why 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 would they want to withhold information from prospective recruits now you understand it's not like we are giving these recruits uh, false information you can look at the comments under the videos and you can see what people are saying people are being helped by the, the information that we are providing them and I'm wondering if these guys when they're making the fake claims if they don't realize that YouTube is really remember YouTube has human beings working here also and human beings are reviewing the videos I'm wondering if they don't know that YouTube is taking note of you know these video takedown and the fact that all of them so far you know have been false and um, I'm almost sure that this one is going to be false also because I'm going to show you some evidence that I have uh, that I was given permission to use uh, the background music in that video uh, so guys that's the that's the takedown so I did a, a counter claim so if I could actually go to I'm just going to go to to this response that YouTube sent me after sending the claim so uh, if I could actually just find it here uh, let me see somewhere here um, where is it now let's further down 
so that's the first one they sent and then uh, here is it now guys so as you can see YouTube responded to me after you know I did the counterclaim so this is my counterclaim here so here I'm saying um, well, let me just click on this to see yeah so this is what I sent guys um, thank you for your uh, counter notification now let me scroll down yeah so this is what I have so this is what I sent to YouTube so as, I, as you can see what I'm saying here I believe that my video should be reinstated for the following reasons one the video was created using a software called Pictory so there's a software called Pictory guys where you have videos and um, you have audios and then you can also upload your own audio you can um, create your they have uh, artificial intelligence voices that can use to create videos uh, so once you have your content then the software will go out and find appropriate videos to fit your content so that's what I actually did with that video only two minutes 11 seconds and that's the website for Pictory so I'm saying this video was created using a software called Pictory and here's the website the music used by Pictory is licensed through Melody, their audio provider. So Pictory has a license with this company, Melody, and they are given background music or audio, you know, that they can use. So that license cover them. Uh, so this guy is claiming copyright on this song, on the background music that I used. And, you know, Pictory is given a license uh, for all of these, um, you know, the video clips and you know it's actually royalty free um, video clips and you know the audio and obviously guys because Pictory is a subscription program and then you have the free part of it the free trial um, part of it now this company they are actually charging their users to use their platform to create videos so why on earth would they be so careless not to cover themselves with a license and all of that for people to use for people like you and me who are going to be customer for them to use their you know their video footage and also their um, audio background music and all of that why would they be so careless not to do that because you see they they want to have a good reputation with their business it's not like some people running business and their reputation is not good these people want to have a good reputation so that they can have satisfied customers so they are going to make sure that they cover themselves so that's why I'm going to show you uh, a PDF of a license that they sent to me and it says the music used by Pictory is a license through Melody so I was given permission by Pictory to use the music in question without worries and number three I contacted Pictory some minutes ago to clarify if their music is copyright free and if I am allowed to use the music. I got a positive response, um, a positive response from Pictory, which confirmed that I'm allowed to use the music and video clips without worries. And number four, I'm saying Pictory also provided me with a downloadable PDF of their license, which gives me the right to use the music and video clips to create videos and then here i'm saying to youtube please see the link to the downloadable pdf that pictory provided me with so this is if i click on this it would actually take me to uh, the download but i'm going to show you this later and then part five i'm saying in recent months and weeks a particular online group that is aff affiliated with a multi-level marketing company called energic has been making malicious copyright claims and privacy complaints on videos that I've uploaded on their questionable business model. I believe that it is the same group being led by these two guys here, that's the CEOs, that is behind these copyright strikes and my videos and channel. Please be reminded that all their copyright claims were unsubstantiated. And part six, I'm saying, I can provide you with screenshots of my communication with Pictory, which I'm going to show you guys, and also the PDF document containing their license from Melody that gives me permission to use their video clips and background music to create videos. And then part seven, I'm saying, I use Pictory to create the video in question based on the information that they provided me with. So I would be grateful if this matter could be looked into and a resolution can be reached 
and in part eight i'm saying i would also appreciate it if those two guys would stop making false claims on my videos so that's really um that part of it guys and um after that uh, youtube would have sent me after sending this then they would have given me their response which if i go back here i think it's actually the same the same thing so if i click on this so this is youtube's um, response and they said thank you for reviewing uh well it's actually me where is it now let me just see yeah, it's actually up here thank you for your counter notification it has now been forwarded to the claimant that submitted the copyright removal request so that's what i'm saying guys once you send your counter notification youtube will send that information to the claimant and it says now that the counter notification has been sent to the claimant they have 10 us business days from this date to respond the claimant must respond with evidence that they are taking legal action against you to keep the content at issue from being reinstated to YouTube. You can learn more about the legal action the claimant must take in our health center. And then it says after 10 US business days, if we don't get a response from the claimant, your content will be reinstated to YouTube. Also, the associated penalties on your channel will be cleared. And it says, bear in mind that a counter notification is a legal request. As a result, YouTube must process the counter notification in accordance with the law. This process can take some time, so we ask, so we kindly ask for your patience during the process. And then it says, when there are updates on, on the status of your counter notification, we'll reply to this email to let you know. So, as I mentioned, guys, about... Um, you know the legal side of this in accordance with the law when these guys are filing their fake uh, copyright claim there's also a part where they have to sign to say that um, you know legally they know that um, they can get themselves in trouble with the law perjury and all of that for making false claims but I notice even those past claims that they made which was fake or were fake you know they continue to do it they disregard the whole thing because they don't take it seriously they think they can just go around and giving people channel strike and making false claims and nothing you know nothing legal would be you know no legal action would be taken against them uh so they they think they can just go around and do whatever they feel like because you know they might have <laughs> they, they might have the money to do it of course you know how the business run uh, so this is what they do and each time the claim is fake because look at this guy making this claim now and I'm thinking how is he going to get around Pictory with their license that Pictory has given um, their users the permission to use um, those uh, background music so guys let us quickly go to another um, so this one is the, the email I sent to Pictory that's the site I used to create the video and as you can see I got that's the, the title here I got a copyright claim video takedown on YouTube and the channel strike so here I'm saying so you can see I send this message to Pictory support and this was my message down here and this is their response so my message here is saying hello support re copyright claim on my video with background music which resulted in a video takedown and channel strike and I'm actually saying here I receive a copyrighted video takedown claim on a video I created using Pictory the copyright claim is on the background music in the video and a part of this is cut off so it says here the claimant also took it a step further to give my YouTube channel a strike and I said here the video I created was entitled how to identify a pyramid scheme According to YouTube, the copyrighted original song is entitled Drawing Lips. So that's what the guy is saying that the original song in the background is Drawing Lips. And I was trying to do some search to find this song, but I couldn't find anything. I couldn't even find this name on Pictory when I went back to search for this song. And it says, and obviously I gave the claimant's name here. 
and I said I would like to know if the background music on picture is copyright free and if it is why did uh, this guy Max Cock claim copyright on it and also gave the channel a strike and then I'm saying here I have attached a screenshot of the email that YouTube sent me that's the one I showed you earlier please see the attachment I look forward to hearing from you so this was Pictor's response Hi Leonard, I, ass I assure you that the music used by Pictory is licensed through Melody, our audio provider. And you can use it without worries. That's Pictory saying that, guys. You can, however, I think it should be however, you can, however, contest this copyright strike by following the steps here. So when I click on this, guys, it would actually take me to uh, the PDF that I'm going to show you now. And it says, I also attach also attached is the audio license that you can share with the YouTube team which of course I've done that and it says Re regard and then here is a customer service uh, customer success specialist this guy here so if I scroll down guys this would be uh, the PDF and uh, as you can see guys this is the, the PDF license so you can see where it says here Melody API agreement, the 4th of October 2021. I wouldn't be able to read through all of this, but you can see the name of um, the person here. Um, that's Melody actually writing to the person here from Pictory. And it says following our recent discussion, Melody Music, um, whatever that is limited. And that's the address, Australia. I give the email address wishes to enter into an agreement concerning the platform Pictory with Pictory Corporation and then their address and then you have like the reseller so they are the reseller on terms and conditions contained below to accept this agreement please return it with a signature below we look forward to hearing from you yours sincerely that's the managing director of uh, Melody API here and guys as you can see you have two sides here so you have this person sign in here and dated and then you have this person here for pictory as you can see the name up here have the name sign it dated and if you scroll further uh, if you scroll further down guys you can see even more information on the license so this is what pictory would send to users who would get a copyright claim on YouTube um, to say that oh they use copyrighted music so Pictory is sending this information to cover yourself so what this is what they sent to me so this is why you know I'm really confident that and all of this information is with YouTube also so I'm really confident that um, my video would be reinstated that guy would have to know prove why why Pictory would use a song belonging to him if it's really his song and then it would now expose him because uh, the reason I'm actually I should actually be even be doing this video after hearing from YouTube but I say you know what I'm going to do it before so that you guys can really understand the type of people that you know we are dealing with and that's more the reason why you know I, I really have to um, be talking about this and saying how much I'm grateful to get to a thousand subscribers on my youtube channel even though they are trying to fight and take the channel down because you know what even if they should succeed at some point you know i would have achieved a milestone because you know for when it comes on to to getting a thousand subscribers it's not really easy especially the niche that you would start your youtube channel in some people might get to a thousand subscribers in a day uh, but for some especially this kind of content here it's not that easy to get there so when you actually get there um it's really you know you are excited about it because you especially when you see people making false claims and trying to take your channel down and it's not really working uh i'm happy that i managed to get there and you might ask but are they going to stop no, i don't think they're going to stop they're going to continue to try because once i'm putting out information on them they're going to continue and the funny thing about it guys um is that each time they would make the false claim on my videos and if youtube remove it for a short period i would do like three or four videos i would upload three or four more videos uh, on that same topic so taking one video down thinking that is going to deter me then it even give me more video content ideas 
um, to put out. Uh, when that guy asked to take my content down, I went and I did a video. And that video is over a thousand views now. But then they also claim privacy. They, they file privacy complaint on that video because they want to take the video down now. And that was thrown in the bin again. So, you know, I did, gave, I, I did a video where I gave them advice as to how they could use their time freedom wisely. You know, to really correct their system and all of that. But, you know, uh, they still continue to use it to do stuff like this. Uh, so, that's what I want to say to you guys. So, we have, you know, reached a thousand subscribers. I'm really grateful. It's even over a thousand now. I'm grateful for that. And, you know, as long as the channel is up, I would continue to do videos. Uh, to tell you the truth about systems not only their system but any other system up there where you know i'm actually seeing that they are doing stuff that's not really appropriate then you know i have to talk about it there's a channel guys on this site when you're talking about um platforms like warrior plus and uh jv zoo you know those two platforms they are actually software platforms and you have a lot of online marketers who go and create shiny object softwares and this channel, I mean, she would go in depth to review those vid um, those softwares. Uh, she would not hold anything back. And majority of those softwares that she review, you know, they are just shiny objects. They're not going to make you money within six months. Those softwares would be would be would be out. And that's the reason why I don't really do reviews on those products because you're not going to have a lot of people even though she's going at, she, she's doing a good job but you're not going to have a lot of people watching those videos even after six months because those software is not going to last those products are shiny objects if you don't know what shiny objects are then i think her channel is perfect for that she would explain to you what it is you going around um with these little business opportunity they're telling you even those products these people who create those products they, are, they would have some fake income claims, uh, especially they, sometimes they would see them using uh, ClickBank, you know, ClickBank income uh, images and all of that. They would go to ClickBank and they would copy some, you know, ClickBank has this, um, when you go into your payment, uh, don't, I can't remember the term for it, but you would see uh, payments and all of that coming from ClickBank. And so what they would do is copy those images and they want you to think that it's the software that they are introducing to you would be making them all of that money. But they are actually making money from the software they're selling you. They're not making money from what they're telling you the software can do. Uh, so you have to be careful guys and it's not only softwares. You have businesses, um, online businesses and even physical business you know brick and mortar business people can lure you in and they can tell you you will make so much money when you know it's actually not not the case so this is what i actually want to talk to you about when it comes on to you know these people you know are trying to target a channel because you are telling the truth and of course uh i came across two sites uh, uh just a couple probably a couple of days ago I was searching the internet and I came across two sites and what happened to this group in Butan I saw that those two sites they took the story and put it in their own words in their own way uh, so you have those two sites up now with that information and I'm quite sure that these two seniors searched the internet and came across those sites uh, I'm not going to really feature this site you know just to be more careful now with what I post but um those two sites are up guys you can search you all you need to do is just to put their name and the, the dream team and whatever and you would come across those sites and those sites are doing well in terms of their domain authority domain rating so you know when they publish content it would be easily found on google uh, so that's really what it is guys and if you are a subscriber thanks for subscribing helping the channel to get to a thousand subscribers and you know as i provide you with the information i will also do an update once uh this 10 days run off and you know youtube would get back to me with you know their um 
review and how to go forward from there so obviously once my video is reinstated then you would see that video that video up and then you can determine that you know these people they're just doing stuff maliciously i know they have something to do with it um they want to make me think that oh that has nothing to do with them but i know they have something to do with it uh so any takedown with from videos relating to what they are doing i know it's them even if they should try to target another video totally different from what i've been doing i know nobody else is targeting my channel and then just going straight to you know a, a channel strike i know it's coming from them so again guys if you like this information then i would love for you to subscribe to the inspiration college channel uh, to get more inspiring videos like this so thanks again for watching and catch you in another video